What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to another one of my videos. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you will not miss out on a video. Today, we're doing a backless hoodie. Now, I have never, ever seen a backless hoodie, but my girl, Alyssa Forever on Instagram, she came up with this idea, so I'm going to give her her credit because this was bomb. Now, before we get started, I wanted to add my own dynamic flavor to my hoodie. I added the word change on the front and I added the logo on the sleeve. Now, to start, I just wanted to mark off where I would start cutting to make this rounded. We're going to make the bottom of this hoodie rounded and not square like it usually is. So, I made a mark in the middle and I also made two marks on the side so I can know how to come in and make it really symmetrical. I didn't want it to be wonky, so I made it symmetrical. I connected my lines from the side and from the middle and that's where we will be cutting. So once those lines are made, you just want to simply cut all the way down from the side to the middle, from both sides. And this will create that rounded look. The next step is to remove the back of your hoodie. Make sure you're not cutting on the front side, just remove that back side of the hoodie. The next step is to create the holes where you will lace your string through. And I'm using my tool again. <laughs> I'm using this tool to put the metal pieces on just to make it look much more clean when we're putting our string in. I didn't want it to look too DIY-ish, so I wanted to add these metal pieces so it can look nice when the strings go in. This is what it should look like once all your metal pieces are in. I use four metal pieces for each side. So four holes on each side. Now with the bottom, the bottom was looking really rugged. We're gonna add some fusible tape. You could sew around the ends, but I'm following Alyssa Forever's tutorial, so we're gonna use fusible tape just like she did. I'm using my black string as my tie for the back. This is just simple yarn from Walmart. You can find it at your local Walmart or Target. Okay guys, this is the end result of the footage. It's funny looking. My mom was recording, so just please don't mind it, but this is bomb, okay? I love this so much. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, make sure you comment down below, and make sure you follow Alyssa Forever at Forever Flawless. I'll make sure to put her information down below. Okay, Flavor Squad, may your curls pop and your grind never stop. I'm out of here.